Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make a little bit of a different project, and it's going to be probably a little bit long, or I may have to split it into two videos. I'm not sure yet, but um, we will get this done as fast as we can, but it's just going to be a really pretty project. It's going to be a stand-up book album, so it's great for Mother's Day, that kind of thing, so it may take a little bit longer, but we will get it done. You're going to need two pieces of cardstock, and this cardstock is pretty thick. The thicker the cardstock, the better. This is five and a half by seven, and so you're going to put them in your scoreboard on the short side at five and a half side. You're going to score at four and at four and three quarters. This is the EK Success scoring tool or embossing tool. They come in a set of three. Uh, let me grab all three. They come in a set of three. They also have the little pokey tool on the end of one of them. You know, we have had problems getting our this little pokey tool. We can't get this anymore. They, I've hunted everywhere. They just don't make them. So, uh, I don't know why Kaiser Craft stopped making them, but, but anyway, we can't get them anymore, so I, I've ordered these and put these in the shop until we can get back to these, if we ever can. But I really like these, so we may just stick with them. I don't know. I've been using them for a week or so, and I like it. All right, so we've got that scored at four and four and three quarters. And then the, you're going to need another one, same size. Score it at four and four and three quarters. Go ahead and pre-fold and then give that a good burnish. And I'm just going to lay those aside. And you need a piece that is four by seven. Now, this piece you don't have to do anything with, just four by seven. All of these measurements will be over on my blog along with photos, so don't worry about writing anything down if you don't want to. Uh, then you'll need two pieces that are five by seven, and you're going to score at four inches. So we're going to score at four on that one and at four on this one, and that is on the five inch side. The so five inch side, you're gonna score at four on both of those. Go ahead and fold and burnish, and lay those aside. Okay. All right, I'm gonna lay my scoreboard down for a minute. Now, I am gonna use score tape. And the reason I'm gonna use score tape is because Score tape holds together a lot better with these little projects than just art glitter glue or something like that. Art glitter glue will hold, but I like to put something down that's really going to grab quick so that I don't have to sit and wait on it to dry, and that's going to be this. So what you're going to do is turn your two pieces that, these are the two pieces that are cut at five and a half by seven. They have the two score lines on either side. Lay them down like this with the score lines pointing in. Take your piece that is four by seven and you're gonna lay it down, glue it down right at that first score line on each one of these with the this part on the back. Now, don't go over the score line, just make sure that it's right up to it. So with this is what we're gonna do to ensure a good adhesion and to be able to still move it just a tiny bit when we put this score tape on there. I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape on both sides. Okay. Then we will, I'm going to try out the new pokey tool here and see how I like it. I don't think I'm going to like it as good as my other one, but since we can't get the other one, we don't have much of a choice. All right, now I am going to go in and I'm going to put a little bit of art glitter glue right on top of this tape just so I have a little bit of wiggle room when I put this down. So then I'm going to lay this on there and I'm going to lay it right up to but not over that score line and just even it up on both ends. 
make sure that, and when you lay that down, you want to make sure that it's still going to fold good. So I just kind of fold it over and press it. That way I know it's still going to fold really, really good. Then you're going to go to the other side and you're going to do the same thing. Okay. And then on the opposite side of where you just put that one, you want to put your other one down. Just like that. Just flip it over. Make sure that it's even and make sure that everything still folds like it needs to. All right, so that's what you have so far. They're both attached to the back, and I'm calling that the back. This is the inside. Now you want to take these two pieces that are five by seven that you scored at four inch, and these are gonna go on the inside right up to this piece right here. So let me hold it up so you can see it. So you see where we attached that on the back? This is our inside piece right here. You're going to attach this one right up to that score line like that. So that when you open this up, you have a mat here and a mat here. And then this is going to fold like that. Let me see if I can hold it this way so you can see it too. That's how it's going to fold, see? So make sure that you're putting this score edge, scored edge right here right up to this center piece. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to go ahead on this flap, and I'm going to put some score tape. And this is a powder blue paper, and I'll show you the cardstock that I'm, I mean, I'll show you the pattern paper that I'm going to be using. And we still have some of it, I do believe. We're going to be using the Poetic Rose by Prima to, to make this, to do our mats and everything. I love that collection. And I, like I said, I think we've still got some of it. So check it out. I'll link that below. And if we're short, I may, I'll put another link where you can go and find it somewhere else if we're getting short on it. All right, now you want to butt that up against that inside piece there. And what I do is I hold my flap over this way. I butt it up there. Then when I get it right, then I just lay that over. Okay, let's see if you can see that. That's exactly right there how it's going to look. And this is on the inside. And see, this, this one where we attached is on the outside. I'm hoping you can see that well enough. Pull the backing off our score tape. And then there's our little crease right there where our centerpiece starts. And I'm just going to lay this. I'm holding the flap down. I'm just going to lay this up against it. Right up against that. Just checking to make sure that it's even. And I'm going to fold that over and press it down. So then we've got... Use my bone folder. Go ahead and fold these pieces over and just make sure that they're folded, you know, correctly. You may have got a little bit off on your score line or something like that. Make sure that they'll lay down flat like that. Then go ahead and fold this piece, that score line there. Okay, so this is what you have. Let me open this up. We've got a book, but it's also a standing, it's a little standing album book. So this, when we start, when we get everything matted and all of our pockets and everything on, that'll fold that way, that'll fold that way, that one will fold over, and that one will fold over, and it'll close up just like that. Makes a little box, book box photo album. That's a good, good <laughs> that's a good name for it. So we'll put our magnets on here. And we're going to put some pockets on. And so you've got a really nice, long album here. You've got, there's 12, about 13 and a half inches of album. And each one of these 
is a four by seven piece, so it's plenty big enough to put your nice photos on there. All right, let's put some pockets on here. What we're gonna do on, let's see, see which pockets I cut for where. I think, here's my little template I made. A lot of people ask me, how do you come up with all these projects? Some of them I don't come up with. Some of them I get from other people. I get ideas from other people. I see them on Pinterest. But this one I made, I don't know if anybody else out there has made one like it or not, but I kind of made this one out of my head. And so I made a little template just to make sure that I could get everything in there that I wanted. So that's my template right there. Let's see, I think this pocket. Okay, now on these pockets, I cut this one at five by four. But what I'm gonna do is put it back in my trimmer and I'm gonna trim off just a sliver on the four inch side. So just a sliver. The reason I'm doing that is because when I put this down on here, I want it to come to ed from edge to edge but I don't want it to go over my edges. So see, if you trim it off just a sliver, it's gonna fit. So I'm gonna do both of my uh, four by five pieces that way. Really, I think I have, I have three four by five pieces. I'm just cutting a sliver off. It is probably maybe three and 15 sixteenths, something like that. And I didn't want to do that kind of measurement for you, so I'm just saying put it back in your scoreboard and just take a little sliver off of there. Just a tiny sliver, okay? All right, let's see where we're gonna put these. One of them is gonna go right here. And I did not make these where the back of the pocket folds over and all that because I didn't want all that bulk. So I'm gonna show you how we can put these down you can still have a pocket that you can get into and they won't be too tight. And you don't have to put pockets on yours if you don't want. So you're gonna put glue, and it needs to be a wet glue, on the two sides and the bottom. Two long sides and one short side. And then you're gonna glue that down right there. Make sure it's right up at the edge. And then when you start to press this down, don't flatten it out. What you need to do when you press it down is put your fingers out here to the side and just kind of push in, especially at the top. At the bottom, you can press it flat, but at the top, leave a little room. And let me show you, you can see there. You see our pocket? It stands out a little bit, but you're not gonna have a lot of extra bulk. So there's one pocket. Then, let's see where we got the other one. The other one we're gonna put on here, and this is our second flap. There's the front, there's the second flap. So we're gonna put the other one here. And I just, I dry fit it first just to see. And then I just put my glue on here. I need another glue bottle, wouldn't you say? Look at that, that thing has had it. Here we go, let's press the bottom down. And the sides, you need to just push in a little bit when you're pressing it. Don't press it flat like that, just push it in. That way you are going to get, let me pull this up, this one's a little bit further down there than I want it. There we go, that's better. Okay. So there's what we have, there's our pocket again, you can see that get things down in there and then our other one where was our other one I think it was on the back cover the very back so we got one there we'll put one way back here on the very back cover right there so again we're running that glue down the side the sides are the longest then running it across the bottom and then back up side over here. I do not know why I did that and went out around my thumb like that. There we go. Alright you guys, I'm going to ask you some questions. You let me know in the comments below 
if you like the mini album tutorials more than you like cards and things like that. I know that there's some card makers out there that don't do mini albums. I know there's some mini album makers out there that don't do cards. I do a little bit of both. I'd rather do mini albums, but you let me know what your preference is. Let me know what you would like to see. Okay, we got plenty of room in there. And now on this one right here, we're gonna go back to this flap. That's that second flap from the back. And we need a three by four piece. I'll grab my ruler. Okay, that one's four by four. We don't need that one. I think it's this one. Three by four. Yes, three by four. And it's going to go right here on top of that pocket. But again, we're going to trim just a sliver off of here. Now, if you want to just cut all of yours at three and 15 sixteenths, you can do that. But I just, I'd rather just cut them at four before I cut me a sliver off. It um, makes it a little bit easier, simpler for my brain, but it's up to you. You can do it either way. Or when you cut, you can just slide it back a little bit and cut it just a little bit shy of four. Okay, again, you want to press it flat across the bottom. When you get to that top part, you want to press it in a little. When you're pressing down with your fingers, push it in just a little bit. Not to the point to where you can, you know, it looks like it's too far in, but just kind of press it in so that you'll have that little bit of give there. All right, and I know that's hard to see. There we go, you can see the two pockets. Now what do we have? Okay, over here on this one, there's our front. There's the first flap, and here's this one on the inside right here. We're going to put a 3 by 4 as well. And I like to measure them just to make sure that I'm picking up the right one. Because I tried to do a lot of pre-cutting because I knew this one was going to take a little bit longer. But, can't always get them right unless I measure Put this one down right here. When we start putting our mats on here, you will be able to see. Uh oh, I didn't cut a sliver off of that one, but I think it's going to be. I don't know. Mm, I better cut my sliver. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to take a chance and use my scissors and go right at that edge. I don't want to get glue on my trimmer. So I'm just going to go up through there and just barely cut. Hopefully that was straight enough. Okay. Now let's try that again. Oh yeah, that fits much better. So make sure you press the bottom flat because you don't want it to be bowed out. But then at the top, just kind of give it that little bit of push. Makes your pocket better. So there we can have a pocket there. Let's see where else we get a pocket. Then let's see. We did one right here. This is the second flat from the back. We did a three by four right here. This time I'm gonna try to remember to trim it. Three by four. I'm going to trim a sliver off of that 4 inch side, just like that. Put this one down right there. There you go. Alright, then all you need to do is make sure you press that down well, push in a little bit on that top, and you've got that one done. Now on this middle part right here, and this is the middle, as you can see, we're going to put one that is two by four. We're going to cut this back a little bit, just like we did the others. Put that sliver off. Then I'm going to dry fit it and make sure that it's not going to go over my score lines because I don't want to have problems closing my album. There we go. We have our pocket there, there, and there. Let's see what other pockets we need. 
Now we're going to go ahead on this front one right here. This is the front again. And I know I'm going back and forth, but I'm just kind of going, I'm kind of looking at my pattern here. And I'll, I'll take a photo of this and pop it on the uh, blog just so that you can see what, you know, what I'm following. Might make it a little bit easier for you too, if you can read my writing. All right, take a little sliver off of it. And then we're going to put this right here on the top of this. There's our other pocket up there. It's just easier for me when I go from one size to the other. But you can do it in whatever order you want. Once you get everything cut, just do it like you need. Alright, there's our two pockets on that one. Our pocket here, our little pocket here, pocket here, and then two pockets here, and then our pocket back here. Now, let's go back to the front cover right here. You're going to need a piece now that is three and three quarter by four. I took that little sliver off of there. And on the three and three quarter inch side, I'm going to come up. Well, let's see. I think I'm going to come up two inches. Let's just lay this down here and mark it. Nope, I'm going to come up an inch and a half from the bottom of one of the sides. And I'm going to put a little mark right there. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to lay it from that point up there down to that point little line and then I'm going to draw that and I'm going to cut that out now this you can cut it with your scissors or put it back in your trimmer doesn't matter so that's what we have right there that's going to be our little front, and I'm going to trim that just a little bit more because you can see my line there that I tr where I trimmed it. Now this is going to go right on the front, on the inside of the front cover, just like that, to make a diagonal pocket. We're going to put a little glue on this little short side, across the bottom, and then up the longer side that we have there. And then you're going to lay this down right at the edge and right across, across the bottom. And just like that. So there is your little diagonal pocket, and let's put something in there so you can see it. Okay, so we got that. We have these done. We have that, 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 and those. And now we just need, I'm going to put a few more things right back here on the back, a few more pockets. So this piece is three and three quarter by four. I took that little sliver off of the four inch side. Okay, and then we're going to do just like we did before. Put that in there, cut it just like that. Then I'm just going to use my scissors on this one to trim that out. Just going to follow that line all the way down, just like that. And then we're going to put this one down like this with the shorter side in. So see the front one, we put the shorter side in. We're going to do the same on this one. The shorter side's going to go in. And yes, we put it right on top of that other pocket. That other pocket's right there. We just laid that right on top of it. Okay, then I have a four by four piece. And with this four by four piece, I'm gonna take a sliver off of one side. Whoops. Messed up, get my see that, try that again. Okay, that's better. There we go. And then we're going to come up that inch 
inch, maybe an inch and three quarters. So come up on one of your sides. It doesn't matter since both of them are the same. Make that little mark and then trim that off. Okay, then on this back pocket right here, you're going to lay that one right on top. So it's going to go on top of that other one that went this way. So you're going to have a pocket like this. Let me get something that I can slide down in there and you can see. Okay. You're going to have a pocket here. Then you're going to have a diagonal pocket here. And then you're going to have another diagonal pocket that runs the other way right here. Okay. So glue that one down that and there we go and I'm gonna get I'm gonna grab this scrap piece so that you can see what we've done there's a pocket there's a pocket in the back so that crisscross right here and then you have a pocket up here okay then you have a pocket here a pocket here and then a pocket here, a little one here where you could still put a photo and things up here at the top, one here, a pocket up here at the top, a pocket down here, and then a diagonal one here. All right. Now, this is already pretty long, so I think what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do the decorating on this. So, let's see. Tomorrow, I won't be doing a live. I'll be doing a regular video tomorrow. So I'll start my lives next Friday. Not this Friday, but next week. So, unless something comes up. If I can talk Melina into it, she's supposed to be over here working tomorrow. If I can talk her into it, we may. But we will do the decorating and everything tomorrow. Like I said, I'll have all of these measurements and everything on my blog. If you want to go ahead and try to get one ready between now and tomorrow, you can do that, and we can decorate together. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this.